and welcome back everybody. Let's finish up our pizza fritta. I don't know if I have a good Italian accent, probably not, but whatever it is definitely pizza fried or fried pizza. And so in the first segment, we got our pizza dough and then we fried it in olive oil, shallow fry, not a deep fry, and then got a nice brown on either side and it's perfect. So now all we have to do is top it and then eat it really. And what I love about this recipe as well is that you can have it done and on the table in probably 15 minutes. So it's fast and it's homemade, which is even best part about that. So let's top these off we'll do it a couple different ways. I have some jarred pizza sauce here. I think that's the easiest way to go. If you feel like you don't want to use jarred, then don't. But I, I like easy things and especially if it's a good quality, then it's as good for me as anything else. So Go ahead and spread that. I think I want to make one of these a margarita style pizza. And so what I have is some fresh mozzarella here. You can find this in the deli and it's already sliced, which I love about it. So we'll go for the sliced margarita pizza here. And then on the other one, we'll make my all time favorite pizza, which is a very simple, basic thing. But margarita pizza gets fresh basil as well. So we'll put a few of that fresh basil slices in here. I have my broiler warming up. That's how we're gonna cook these, is just under the broiler. That's why I say it can be done really fast. So um, that's done. Let's do my favorite one, which is simply pepperoni and black olive. Now I judge a pizza restaurant based upon that pizza. Um, if they do a good pepperoni black olive, then I'm all about it. So I like pepperoni and pineapple too. I don't know if you guys have ever had that. I just, I, people say they don't like pineapple on pizzas, but I think with pepperoni, rather than ham. So the pepperoni spicy with the sweet pineapple is a perfect combo, I think as well, but we'll go olives on this one. Okay, perfect. Let's get these in the oven. They will only take probably 45 seconds. You have to keep, in, keep an eye on them. So let's get this in here. I'll shut it for just a little bit and it will happen very quickly. Now, remember I told you this is gonna happen fast. So make sure and keep an eye on it because most people's broilers cook really hot. So I think mine are done. Let's take them a look, and they are looking beautiful. Wow, look at, ooh, look at that, guys. That looks super good. Mouth is watering, stump, tummy is rumbling. We're gonna eat some of this pizza. All right, I think I have a pizza cutter. I do, look at that. All right, but what I'm gonna do before I cut is I'm gonna display these, because they look wonderful. Put one there. I'm gonna slice that one. Put one here, that's cheese. We got a pepperoni one I made earlier. And then we'll slice our pepperoni and black olive because that's the one I need to test, right? Okay, super easy to make. It takes maybe 15, 20 minutes tops and you'll have dinner on the table. Everybody will be happy making their own kind. Again, you can make these smaller or larger. It's just up to you. Either way, you can find all these ingredients at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for shopping and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.